think of next? If you need anything, please do not hesitate to push the purple button to your left. An attendant will be with you shortly. My mother-in-law is always up my ass about how I spend my day. I can't help but chuckle because me? I'm watching What A Show on Twitch.tv. Heavens, look at the time. It's nearly What A Show. I wonder what Charlotte and Patrick will get up to today. I hope it's Craigslist. I think the mods should be allowed to ban people, if it's funny. What's that? A show? Never thought I'd see the day. Heavens, look at the time. It's nearly what a show. Sometimes I wonder whether Patrick is actually hurting Charlotte's feelings, or if it's all one big joke. Fascinating. Quiet, darling. What a show is about to start. Let's wrap it up. Ah, uh, the French water show. I miss the Patrick is afraid of bones era. It's just not the same show anymore. If I was Charlotte, I'd simply get a better computer. It doesn't seem all that complicated. If what a show were ever to fully solve its technical issues, I imagine I would have to stop watching. Oh God, it's what a show. And it's headed right towards us.
What do you think Charlotte dreams of? Is it pleasant? Frankly, I'm here for Waylon and Gatito. You know, back in my day, we didn't have anime sex noises. It's what a showtime. Look out, it's what a show. What? A show? I for one do hope they play copyrighted music. This is, it's so loud, listen to this. Maybe it's not that loud for you. It's, it's, it's deafening. It's deafening to me. And there's, there's like no volume option. the volume in here it's so loud I can't I'm okay I'm not fixing my garage door that's not like oh god what, what did I just do oh I hit that fast forward can anyone else hear how fucking loud this is Those knights are ruthless. Go see if the blacksmith to the east can help to talk to people. Stand next to them and hold the... What? The F? Is that what it... Does it say the F? I have to, I have to take these headphones I, off. I can hear it clearly coming through my headphones. Actually, you know, now nah, whatever. Press the A or B button. Press save. Press start to view the item screen. Uh. Thirty gems to save. Oh, I love, I love when games did that. Ha! <laughs> oh shit. By the way, I'm not, uh, I'm not locked into this game. This is just some shit that I used, I used to play this when I was a kid. This is one of the Game Boy Color games I owned. And, uh, I have hens. Oh no. I have to find his chickens to get a weapon. Uh, and you know, uh, Game Boy games are... 
very easy to come by. So, you know, we might play something else. If you have something you want to see, and it's on a Game Boy, it's on Game Boy, uh, there's a good chance I have access to it. They did sue everyone, but uh, here I am. I found the secret is to not invent uh, the emulation software. That seems to be the key. This was a game I played way too much of because it was one of the only games I owned. Which was kind of a... Um, That's basically how you decided what to play that uh, back then was um, it was like, okay, do I own this game? Like, is it good or bad? Didn't really factor into it so much. It's about a much better time, which is why I have no learning or math games. I wonder if there's a way to play. Can someone figure out for me? If there's a way to play Math Blaster 2. Or I think Math Blaster... Maybe 3D? Oh, got another chicken. Those are the ones I had. How many did I need? Five? Treasure Mountain? We might fuck with Treasure Mountain later. Actually, I would, I would much rather play Treasure Mountain uh, than, well, I could do, I could do either. <laughs> Rookie numbers, I'm, I'm very sorry. I'll try to do better for you. My apologies. <laughs> yeah, Treasure Math Storm, that was a good one. What was the one that was like in a, I think it took place in like a school or something? You know what I'm talking about? That was one that I, like, didn't play as much, but I think, like, my friend owned it. So I played it a, a fair amount, but not as much as, like, Treasure Math Storm or, uh... Yeah. Tethered Tear or Tear, whatever. Link's Awakening is, like, the best. That's the best Zelda game, right? Or, yeah, the Oracle of Seasons. That's Game Boy. Is that Game Boy Advance or Color? I mean, OG Zelda is not. It's a game you play as, like, a history lesson, not for fun. <laughs> it's like... The original Zelda is not a... That's, I don't think that's a fun game anymore. Meanwhile, Mario is still out here being rock solid. The original Mario? I don't know. I think, yeah, you skip... You skip the first two Zeldas. It's really no. I mean, you could try the first one, I guess, but... What's Kingdom Crusade? What is that? Titanic Adventure Out of Time. I might have downloaded that. Oh my god, am I, the rest of the stream is going to be me looking for, um, looking for this last chicken. Guaranteed. I mean, hey, me and Lawrence were on the we were on the same wavelength when it came to to that kind of shit. He was great because you talked to uh, like working with Lawrence was great because you talked to him. Hey, okay, I want to do this infamous. Yes, he loved it. Like I was about to say infomercial, by the way, I realized I didn't really finish the sentence. 
Like anything of that nature. The VHS uh, aesthetic. Dale, thank you for subscribing. Sorry, I know I missed a ton of uh, subs and oh, thank you. Jesus Christ. You have to eat the cucumber. I'm not eating my fucking You're eating cucumber. The greens. <laughs> Get the hell out of here. Thank you. What else we got? Bob, 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 blah, blah. Oh, Bob, blah, blah. Um, I ain't eating these greens. I'll eat green if I get, uh, if we get a hype train. <laughs> I don't even know if that's how that works. If we get a hype train going, I'll eat my greens. <laughs> I guess I did a, uh. You're building a podcast studio in Fullerton for your work. Worth the drive if I can get y'all in for free. Uh, oh, like to record. Well, I don't know what we. I don't think there's. I don't think we have any podcasts anymore. To record. Uh, would. I don't know. I thank you. Thank you. But um, you know, uh, Rebel Cow. Thank you. Sometimes I go to a a Gundam store in Fullerton. I mean, the What A Show audio-only version is almost a real thing. We've talked about it a bunch, but then it's like, no one does it, so. I mean, that's the way everything is with us, is. Eric Monette, gifted, thank you. Be ready in a few months. Why, why does your work have a, need a podcast studio? If I can ask. You don't have to tell me where you work or anything. I'm just curious. Actually, no, you know what? You should, everyone here should disclose where they work. What they get paid. It's not officially dead. Okay. I'm not, I don't want to say that anything. I mean, I don't want to get people's hopes up either. Like, look, it, you know, don't, don't think that. It's not officially dead either, but, you know, I mean, there's a, there's possibilities that, uh, you know, certain things are able to exist in, in some way, shape or form. I don't know what that'll be. I don't know if it'll actually happen. Um, and... Yeah, um, I don't, I mean, I don't know. In some cases, you know, people might, might get, like, at the very least, the, the name rights to things, um, but I don't know, I don't know if that's gonna happen or not. You know, there's no way to know, unfortunately, yet. Um, but even if, you know, even if, like, like, look, Trash for Trash didn't make any any money, right? Because we didn't advertise it at all. We did nothing. It was just, it was a member's perk, but mostly it was something that me and James just wanted to do. So we did it. Um, but as a result of that, it didn't really make any money. And we didn't post about it ever, as far as I know. <laughs> but even if we got that back, say I get some like crazy, uh, cool job or whatever, you know, do I, am I gonna, am I gonna have the time? Am I gonna have the time? I haven't eaten a green yet, just so, you know, to, like, record a podcast that doesn't do anything for me. I don't know. I hope so. It's really fun. Um, oh, yeah, and there's obviously, like, yeah, you can just change the name and do the same thing, but that also means, like, you know, a new RSS feed, potentially losing 
Although, like, you're kind of starting from zero, even, I mean, not entirely, because, like, you know, we have, and when I say we, I mean James, uh, it does have some, you know, name recognition and stuff, but, I, yeah, you know what I was thinking about? I'm like, it seems like these AI uh, Instagram pages that just post shit, just trash. It's a lot of those. Why don't I just uh, make a make twenty of those? You know those ones that are like a billionaire was once asked how much or how to be successful in life. I stayed a green. I don't care for it. And then the comments are like, y'all have really been sleeping on this page. Wow, like, y'all really aren't following this page. All right, holy shit, where's this last chicken? I don't wanna fucking. I mean, I, I own a GPU. <laughs> Do I need another GPU? Yeah, technically, we own the rights to Eden, so. I already talked to Merlin. Talk to this guy. This is so boring. Oh god. It is funny how many like <laughs> like the views on the on videos the last couple days are, are so much more um wait what about what a show did all the streams oh no I know what he's talking what they're talking about where is that comment yeah, yeah, yeah. So the to this is addressed to the Fiesta man. Uh, everything was up. Everything Funhouse was uploaded to um, all the Funhouse live stream. Sorry, I this game's not doing it for me. All the Funhouse live streams um, were uploaded simultaneously. So. Because, I mean, basically, like, we don't want people subscribing anymore. Uh, so we want to, like, make sure that... <laughs> the fucking... <laughs> we need the boom. <laughs> I gotta get a better system. I mean, this is... I need the garage. This is ridiculous. Um, it, yeah, well, I mean, we encouraged everyone to archive everything. I want an archive of everything. You know, because I don't know what's going to happen. I hope I hope it just stays up, obviously. But, um, I mean, if you subscribe now, you're just giving money to, like, no one. But I also, like, if you want to see the videos, maybe that's still the best way. There's stuff that's hidden behind the paywall that, like, probably can't be made public in some way. I don't know. But don't... Don't subscribe to Funhouse anymore. Um, but yeah, I would like... I want a... Um, I mean, I don't think you have to... I don't know if you should cancel it or not. I really... I don't... I have no idea. Um, if you have an annual... I mean, look. I'm guessing... Actually, you know what? I, I shouldn't even say anything because I don't know. I don't know. Um, but I don't think, like, we're going to keep memberships up as an option when the channel no longer you know I know there's archives but I just want like um uh I would like it just on a hard drive 
you know, and I, I mean, I'm, I'm glad that people are, uh, are taking that initiative and in making archives and stuff, but, um, I, yeah, it'd be cool to just, like, have it on a drive, and honestly, like, I'm not worried about this stuff pre-me starting. That shit's been archived uh, everywhere for, like, forever. Yeah, the 2015 to 2019, it's all there. It's all there. It's all accessible. Don't worry, you know, I'm not... <laughs> that shit will never go away. I'm more worried about from when I started to now is the stuff that I'm like, I don't know if... I mean, there's people that, like... Yeah, I, I mean, yeah. I kind of do want to care about this stuff with me, of course. Right? Like, <laughs> yeah. Um, that's the stuff I, I want an archive of, for sure. Um... Yeah, we're old funhouse now. But for real, like, yeah, the 2015 to 2019, there's, there's like a hundred archive trim. Whenever the Armitage shit happens, like 40 people come out of the woodwork to be like, I also do this. Um, so I'm not, I'm not worried about that. But yeah, I do. The Sandy and Tiny, I mean, you can literally just like, look, there's an app called 4K Video Downloader. There you go. Uh, there's plenty of ways to, and those don't. That's only three videos. Like you can get those in the next five minutes. Okay, uh, Gare Chris ninety nine. Thank you so much. Oh, I would love it on some CDRs or like a mini disc. I have a uh, I have a hard drive I stole from Funhouse. I didn't steal it. It was sent as promotional. It was like promotional material that was sent for a, a game. Um, <laughs> free movies. <laughs> yeah, I used to do that. Uh, I mean, honestly, I someone said Funhouse on tape. That would be... I wanted to for the longest time because I heard this is how they did... I think it's like the... I think it's Steve Brule. But I really wanted to, I think it was for the, it might have been for either a video that didn't happen or for the first uh, gift guide. I wanted to record it to VHS and then digitize it again. And it's super easy to digitize it again. Like if you have it on tape, it's very easy to just digitize it. But I couldn't figure out like... I mean, I, I, I didn't look that hard because I, once I realized it would cost any money, I was like, this won't ever happen. But it's, I think it's a little more difficult for some reason to like get it on, to like to get a, a tape, to like record from digital to tape. Like I would have had to buy something is essentially shoot the monitor with a camcorder. That's how streaming, that's how YouTube and streaming used to work. One of the Funhouse streams was shut down when Lindsay showed a chip attack victim. Oh, I think we shut it down. I think that was our our choice. And it, it was probably... I, I, I know the chimp. I'm familiar with the chimp. Uh, but yes, that, as far as I remember, did happen. Um, Funhouse series I would want on VHS? No. Not really. I mean, I think the gift guide is the most obvious the most obvious choice. Otherwise, I don't know, maybe License to Kill, something like that. But I wanted to, I wanted to re-digitize it and then put it back. I haven't put it like, put it up on YouTube. because so I have a VCR that I, I buy like goofy old tapes and um, just digitize them. I used to use it for, uh, I used to use some of them for, uh, Dune, Dune, I just saw Dune and said it, like an animal. I used to use it for, um, 
intros for what a show. So like that, I don't know if you remember, but I had an intro that was like a um, tanning bed, like instructional video. And that was, that was something that I just like found. I mean, it's really gold top cookie. It's not hard at all. Um, you can get a VCR for like five bucks from any thrift store. And then, how much was the... It's an Elgato product, video capture. It's, it says it's $100 or eighty-seven ninety-nine. It's a little more expensive than I thought, but it's still not bad. And there's probably a cheaper way to do it too. I'm not sure, but let's see. Am I gonna see the Kings before the end of the season? I'd like to. Talked about going, like Funhouse talked about going a bit. Um, yeah, it'd be fun. And I want to I wanna see a game. I just haven't, um, I haven't had time since. I usually go like once a season at least, but, you know, we got a baby now, so that's, <laughs> it's a little more difficult. We could take him. I mean, he can, but, yeah. Is there any unreleased vids that could be uploaded now? No, I mean, like, there's nothing... The only thing I can think of is there was like a sponsored video that we ended up not being able to release, but I, th I think we probably still can't release it, which, I mean, it's like you know, one video. It's fine. Um, yeah, I don't think there's anything, the only, only time something wouldn't be released as if like it goes into edit and you're like this video is not funny this video sucks <laughs> like which didn't happen often but like occasionally you know occasionally you'd get an edit where you're like eh, I don't know <laughs> I don't think I don't think we need to put this out <laughs> but uh that was very very rare and there was a reason, like, the videos just didn't hit for whatever reason, so it's not like you missed out on anything. It's like when people are like, we need the full unedited video, and it's like, no. The reason the videos are funny is because you're getting the edited version. Even, I mean, the streams are good, but even the, like, um, what the fuck am I trying to say? I don't know. Who gives a shit? Doesn't matter, right? Why is my connection unstable? Uh, I should, I should just, yeah. I wonder if I could drop ship fee because, like, I feel like if you're gonna if you're gonna do drop shipping, featureless black stones are like pretty safe. Like, I feel like if I were to drop ship a featureless black stone, I would feel pretty good that you were gonna get a featureless black stone. You know what I mean? Like. Because most of that stuff is scamming, where you find a really garbage jacket or shirt or, you know, like, a lion ring. I feel like a black stone, how much... I guess I guess if you got it and it did end up having features on it, that would be pretty... That would be a bummer. Yeah. But other than that, you know. Um, but I, I think, like, I would feel ethically, I think I would feel okay about dropshipping if it was just selling you featureless black stones at a, at a significant markup. Um, uh, Joe, Joe, we could, we could talk about that. I could potentially, as you are a mod, uh, there, you might, uh, you might be able to get you some fun house <laughs> merch if you really want it. Um, I don't know. We'll see. We'll see. Um, 
<laughs> useless rock. A featured rock. It's not black market, really, is it? I mean, we'd get so much. I fuck me. The amount of merch we just got rid of, probably like, because. You know, they would just send boxes and boxes of it to the office for so long, and like, I mean, when we started, one of the first things me, Charlotte, and Zach did was like raid their merch closet because they had so much. Um, but after a while, it's like the stuff that's still there is still there because nobody wanted it or already had it or whatever. Um, so, yeah. I don't know. I mean, we think we probably just gave it away eventually. That's what I would do. Like, I save, I tend to save, like, um, Let's see, I have, like, the stuff that I, I want that has sentimental value to me um, that I didn't feel like I, I want one that I'm not going to wear. Wait, did you really find Funhouse shirts at the Culver City Goodwill? For real? Uh... Oh, there's a, there's a crane game at, um... Uh, Frank and Sons it has like a shitload of achievement hunter merch. In it. Uh, if you found if you found uh, Funhouse merch at Culver City, there's like a seventy five percent chance it was me that donated. Like you're probably you, that was probably my old Funhouse merch. <laughs> but I will say it could also have been Bruce. Um, it could have been anyone come to think of it because that there was an office there for a long time so it could have been it was old merch I would guess yeah it was like Bruce or Lawrence or or James um but I definitely did donate stuff to that Goodwill several times so but it was pretty close to the uh to the old office any any goodwill in Culver City, I hit them all with my funhouse merch. <clears throat> it was um, yeah, the merch store, especially at the end there. Yeah, I mean I don't want to say, <laughs> but a bit too, it was a little pricey, and then shipping was like double the price of whatever you had just bought. I don't know. But look, I mean, you don't have to worry about supporting us anymore, so just go on, like, Redbubble or Etsy or whatever and just buy a Funhouse shirt. Oh, what was I saying? So, I would save if it was, like, a piece of merch that had some type of, um... Yeah, or you could buy What a Show merch <laughs> if, you, if you want. Uh, I would say... I would, I would save one because they would send it to you. So I have like, um, there's a shirt that like no one bought because it was way, way too late. It came out like two years after the video, but it was like a fan art who, I'm, I'm sorry, I forget who, who made it. And also I think I owe them a, a signed poster or something, which, oops. Um, I forget who did the fan art, but it was like really funny fan art of me as like a Bayou guy and I don't even remember what it said, but like, so I have one of those that I think is just like in the bag because I'll, I'll just want that forever, probably. Um, I've got some Minch merch, stuff like that. Anything that like had a, a special um, meaning to me. Uh, I, I have like a, usually I just like kept an unworn one of. <laughs> Ogilvy? No. <laughs> I, an, I might have an Ogilvy shirt, but... Yo, the PS... No, 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 sorry. You, it's not a PS5 wrap. It's a PS4 wrap. Okay? It's a PS4 wrap, which came out, which was released 
during the life cycle of the PS5. It's the PS4 Pro only, yeah, that's right. I think Rahul should get Minch. I think Minch should be shipped to Rahul. That's the funniest scenario in my in my mind. Um, the current Funhouse shop is insane. It's just the one wrap, right? Isn't it just a PS4 wrap for like a one cent or something? That's what it was last time I checked. Because like, look, I'll, I'll you know I'll be honest with you. I, I have a I get a steep discount. A very steep discount. <laughs> One cent, eleven dollars shipping. That's awesome. <laughs> That's so good. <laughs> we have a bunch. I think we have a bunch of them at the office because we were, we got them. And we're like, what the fuck is this? It's not even like. I don't think we knew it was even happening, maybe. Maybe we did, I don't know. But <laughs> it's such a weird, like, I think you. I think if you looked at the Achievement Hunter one, you could be like, okay, this is, like, someone from Achievement Hunter. Like, the color scheme, at least, made sense. And the Funhouse one was, like, wood grain, and the Funhouse logo was just, like, a font we've never used and with, like, a rainbow gradient over it. It's just like, what? The f what is this? This doesn't even like nothing about this indicates funhouse to me except for the fact that it does say funhouse in a tiny little thing. Can someone just can someone post the merch store? My merch, uh, the uh, what a show merch store, not the not the Rooster merch store. It's so shipping is still Rooster Teeth store shipping is still like that. Oh, by the way, the new shirt for new year newer for newer year shirt was supposed to be twenty dollars and twenty four cents, but I fucked it up and then I couldn't fix it later on. So uh that's why. My bad, sorry. I look the ship. I I know. I don't get it. I'm not in charge of. I'm not in charge of their store. Okay. I knew the command. I just knew there was somebody in there. Oh, so it looks like they've just dropped some. There's like new merch coming out. I see a rat boy shirt. A, a camp camp plush. His best friends today has merch. Should I buy this $120 Rebel Without a Cause jacket? What? What is, what is going on here? $120. I, I, they're not actually released. I mean, this stuff is definitely in the works for a long time. I'm not, I don't want to shoot on them in, in any way. Um, a lot of this stuff, yeah, has, has probably been in the works for months at least one month and you know people want people still want merch it's going away they're not going to have a chance again so they want the merch I could get the Jeff Ramsey rebel without a cause jacket for uh, twenty nine ninety nine. to anyone who is wondering let's see let's I'm going to go to checkout Confirm it's me, okay. Just, sorry, to confirm it's me real quick. Um, okay. There we go. Locked 
to that in. Um, do I still have a gift card? I got this root package protection is 74 cents. Do I, wait, where's my gift card? Domestic shipping, $11. I don't know what happens to people from the roost. I mean, that's, I have no idea what happens there. No. Not my... I agree we should sell cigarette case wraps. And do I get to be non-PC about it? <laughs> like what? Like racist? <laughs> I, would I would love to do a Zin collab. No, I want to do a collab with real tobacco. Real American tobacco. None of this replacement shit. No vapes. Um... Yeah. yeah. We could do Virginia Slims. So any kind of snuff, I think, would be good. Yeah, we should do. We should do a snuff. I don't think you can do like you can't be sponsored by tobacco anymore, right? Yeah, Cop Copenhagen Long Cut. There we go. Copenhagen Straight. Isn't that the is that the flavor? Yeah, yeah, what a snuff. That's good. <laughs> no, we'll do dip. Yeah, I'll be we'll be sponsored by a dip company. I'll do gambling. I don't give a shit. Here's the problem. Yes, it is. Uh, I think in some way unethical to do gambling advertising. However, I do think people get more upset about it than is um, than is kind of reasonable because you can get addicted. To any like no one gets mad when booze is, when like booze is advertised right no one gets mad that's just that's ruined as many more lives than gambling um and I mean it's the same it's not like gambling uh I mean look you can ruin your life with it 100% uh, it's, you should be, oh, no, yeah, I, I mean, I agree with, like, the counter strip, yeah, like, loot boxes, stuff like that, I don't think that's, I don't think it's good, that's not, and it's definitely not good if it's being advertised straight to children, but, um, yeah, no, I, I agree, the constant, the constantness of it is pretty aggravating, there's a lot of it. Thank you for seven. KC, yeah, whatever that, and I can't see all that, but, um, I don't think it's good. I just don't think it's, as, I don't think it's any worse than, like, Budweiser, uh, Michelob. You know? I don't know. I don't know. Maybe it is. Sig Talk, yeah, we own, we, uh, we do own the rights to Sig Talk. Uh, we did we did insist that uh, those rights come back to us. So I would love to be sponsored by all the companies that like make things that are either used uh, to do drugs but aren't um, like like uh, drugs that people do that aren't actually made as drugs, such as whippets or duster, like computer duster. <laughs> um, and like the accessory, the smoking accessory, or like drug accessories that again are not actually made for use as paraphernalia, like socks, um, chore boy. If you're familiar with chore boy, um, yeah, the, gla <laughs> the glass rose, uh, yeah, just dryer sheets. Um, <laughs> I mean, like, my dream, my dream, my dream would be to be sponsored by a VHS cleaner company and a glass rose company, just like the grossest, sleaziest, sleaziest, uh, 
<laughs> sleaziest fucking sponsors you could possibly have. And and chore boy, let's throw chore boy in there too. Cause you should, uh, if you're gonna have glass roses, you need to have chore boy too. Otherwise, how are you smoking your crack, right? Um. I don't know. I bet, yeah. If you own a uh, VHS cleaner or a, um, yeah, Glass Rose business, hit us up. Rhino XL, 100% I do Rhino XL. Faith based pregnancy test. Any crack tips for beginners? I've never smoked crack. Sorry. Um, I got out of the game too quick. Never, never got around to crack. I wonder, yeah, like what kind of weird shit we could just put our name on and sell. Like there's always some company that will just, you know, you can like get a cardboard thing printed. It's like, yeah, like what a show, whatever, whoever said, I think it was like tape player or something. Like that stuff is all sellable. You can just kind of, there's a company that'll do that shit for you. Um, oh, is VHS cleaner? Is that what Poppers is sold as? VHS cleaner? Frantic Fargo, thanks for subbing. Um, now, I think my next, I think my next move is going to be as, um, oh, what the fuck is the, like the self help guru where I sell, but the actual thing I sell is my classes. Right, I think that's my next, my next move in life. But I don't know what my angle is yet. Probably car sales. Seems like car sales is what most of those people are doing. Yeah, it's gonna be Trump. You know, well, I'm gonna teach at Trump University on the side to make a little extra cash. I gotta say, have we talked about hair replacement? Because this, I found out hair replace. <laughs> yeah, this is an ad read for hair replacements. Somebody posted this photo of, like, all these guys on a plane back from Turkey. Yeah, Turkey. And it was, like, whatever. But then someone suggested that it was similar to, like, a woman getting plastic surgery or something. I don't know, like, a boob job or something. And all the men fuck in the comments, like, fucking flipped. They're like, how dare you compare? I was, I replaced what was taken from me. And they go do this. They were pissed. They were so angry. And I've come across a few. Um, I've come across a few like other. Like weird hair plug posts on Instagram or whatever. And. Um, oh, yeah, no, there were people doing that. The calling it gender affirming. There were people in the comments doing that and that it did set them off. But even the first one, like, the first one wasn't attempting. Like, if you see that, you know they're kind of, like, going after him or whatever. But, or trying to make a point, maybe. But, um, but the first one was just, like, LOL. This is, like, when, you know, women come back from somewhere with, uh, yeah, BBL or something. It wasn't meant as malicious towards anyone, I don't think. Um, but holy fuck. Fuck, they popped off. Woo, they were angry as hell. And then I've seen a few since then, and I always check the comments, and every time, exact same thing. It's like, sometimes they don't even need to, they don't even wait. They don't wait for someone to come in. They, like, get ahead of it, and they're like, well, hey, I, I, uh, women should get plastic surgery, but I get this. And I don't know. 
They're strange people. They're weird. It's weird. I didn't know there was so much, um... I didn't know hair loss was, like, one of those, those things that, like... Really just sucks people off. Judge Budge. I think, look... Hair loss is a great gift. Because you do the ponytail. You do the bald ponytail. Oh, is it 311 day? It is. Amber is the color of your energy. Oh! What are father's rights, guys? What does that mean? Full Picard? Well... Full Picard, you still have hair. Picard had the, he had the thing, the, the ring, you know, like he could have gotten a ponytail. I will be doing the Abraxas, the long, disgusting rat tail. Horrible. I saw a clip of Jesse Ventura and he was like, what Arnold, what Arnold Schwarzenegger taught me was never to read a script until the money was right. That was his biggest lesson, because if you read the script and you like it, and you're a frog man, if you read the script you might and you like it, you might make it for less money than you're worth. It's like, Jesse, you did like two movies. What the fuck are you, what are you talking about? <laughs> what? <laughs> like, look. All respect to... Uh, oh, I see. Ordinary Gnome, thank you for clearing that up. That's that's uh, okay. Got it. Um, that I guess that's it. Yeah, he the money was right when he read the script for Abraxas. Oh, yeah, I saw Arnold at the Oscars. I watched, I watched some clips today. It's cool seeing him in Danny DeVito, but I fucking hate the, like, they got to figure out a better way to do scripted shit. Like, oh my God. Or maybe the script, I guess the money was right though, because Arnold did it. There was a while where, yeah, it was, it's awesome. I still haven't seen Minus One because, you know, baby. Um, makes it hard. But uh, I want to real bad. I really want to see it kind of waiting for it to go on digital you know what's cool my friend my friend i have a friend who lives in the uk and he was telling me they have um they actually do like baby screenings <laughs> basically at, at a movie theater there um where you can take a baby i think I, I assume the volume is probably adjusted slightly but um literally like so it's all parents or whatever who are taking their kids who, you know, like a baby, you can take a baby to see Saw. They don't give a shit. They're babies. Yeah, they don't know, right? Um, but like, it's expected that, you know, it's all parents with young children. So it's expected that like, yeah, they're going to cry. Because if, if you go to like a Disney movie or a kid's movie, I've, I've taken like my niece to kid's movies. And it's like, you don't give a shit if kids are crying and people are screaming because you're at a kid's movie and it's for kids and they're there to see it but like they do screenings I think for adults but you can like bring a baby who presumably will just sleep through the movie but it's like oh that that's that's so cool that you can like they have stuff for parents to go out and do and can bring the baby but isn't gonna like you know totally ruin because I would never I would never bring a baby to like see Oppenheimer just for the people around me like that kid doesn't my, that, my kid doesn't want to be there but yeah. What does sensory friendly mean? What is that? Oh yes, my church when I was a kid, the they had a yeah, they had a crying or like a kid's room, for sure. Quieter sound, lights don't close right now. I feel like they still probably don't want, like, kids in there, though. That's probably just for, you know. Oh, salty stick, thank you so much. Ooh. 
But yeah, Dune 2 is like the first movie I saw. I've seen it in a long time in the theater. I'm trying to just wait for stuff to come out now and then watch it at night, but it's tough to tough to coordinate. Ooh. Is Shogun, that's a series, right? I've read all of the Dune books except, well, all of the Frank Herbert Dune books except for the last one I have not read yet. Because I read a lot of them recently. I read the, um, uh, I read... The first one in, like, high school or middle school. Probably high school. Read it again. Um, and more recent. I may have, I can't remember if I've read the first one two or three times. But, yeah, then I, then I just kind of went through all of them. And I agree. The first four rock. First four, great. I don't know if, um, I read the fifth one. I didn't like, I didn't read it and think like, this sucks. I, I hate this. But I also don't remember anything about it. It left like no impact on me. I kind of just read it and was like, okay. I, eh, I don't know. I haven't read any Brian Herbert stuff. I, it seems like there's not really a, reason to Aesop I believe that's I think that's five I mean okay oh is it four I don't want to spoil anything for the Dune Heads, but I do want to talk about that very briefly. So give me a minute. If you don't want spoilers for Dune 4 or 5, the book, um, I guess mute it and I'll like wave like this when we're done with spoilers. All right. Ready? Okay. I don't want to hear anyone crying now. I'm going to count. I'm going to. Give you five seconds, okay? Okay, so Duncan, Idaho. Basically, after... It doesn't matter. We don't need to talk about the, the scattering and all of that. There's a group of people who can make people do anything with just fucking. Okay? And they're like, we're going to make this Duncan, Idaho clone who's been getting cloned for like 4,000 years now we're gonna make him do what we want through fucking through magical fucking and they try and Duncan Idaho fucks back okay he fucks back and it's all written out as like a, a fight scene almost but it's like him fucking someone <laughs> and it's I'm telling you, you gotta read these books. He fucks back. He fucks back. Anyway, okay. Spoilers are over. I'm waving. See? Spoilers are over. But yeah, you, you really should... Um, you really should read the first four Dune books. The Star Wars guy wrote... Are you talking about Kevin J. Anderson? Is that his name? Yeah, the Dune books get fucking wild. I mean, it's mostly God Emperor is the one that... When people say that, I think they're talking God Emperor, but... Yeah, I mean, that's the thing, is it's not like... It's not really a spoiler. I guess it is, technically. I wouldn't work. I don't know. I don't think... I've read them, and I don't think it really ruins much for you, but... Dune Messiah is cool. Kind of weird. I don't know that it needs, like... 
If he was actually going to do a movie. Like a third Dune. Children of Dune is a way, way better, way more interesting book. Like, Dune Messiah is kind of just a, it's like a, it's almost like it should have been a part of just Dune. Uh, which I think is, I mean, I don't know if it's intentional, I guess, but. Uh, yeah, James McAvoy is in a Dune miniseries, Children of Dune. People liked it. Um, back in the day, they liked... Uh, so there was a Dune miniseries, and then there was the Children of Dune miniseries, which was Dune Messiah and Children of Dune, I think. Yeah. Um, and, uh, yeah, people liked them. I know, but I, you could finish... I think there's a... I think there's a way to kind of do everything that happens in Children of Dune with basically some text at the beginning and you're not missing a ton. Right. I mean, you can kind of just say, like, he's in the desert. Um, I'm really bummed that uh, they cut so much of the weird shit from Dune Part 2. I, I liked I liked the movie. I've been I've been softening on the newer on the new Dune movies. Okay, I've been softening. But yeah, it like all the cool weird shit that makes Dune Dune was to, like taken out of the movie. Um, but I don't think it wouldn't have been. I don't think it would have been that confusing. I mean, no more confusing than the movie already is. Like, they don't explain shit. If you don't, I don't, I, I feel like if you don't know Dune, you kind of are going to be lost. Like Ryan, who thought that uh, Beast Raban was the emperor because it said the emperor while he was on screen. Y you know? Um, yes, I agree. The movie looks incredible. It looks great. Um, I love a lot of the, like, the design of everything. Um, but, like, what's wrong with Aaliyah being, you know, like, the... It's so funny. In, um, in the Lynch version, she's dressed up like a little Benny Gesserit, right? N no, he. We're talking about the in the first Dune. So they didn't like Christopher Walken was not the Emperor in the original. Like they don't have. They didn't know. They didn't, they didn't cast him yet. Yeah, Getty is it Getty Giddy, Getty Lee, on Getty Lee the Harkonnen home planet. Um. Someone compared the epicness of Dune and cinematic aspect of it all to Lord of the Rings. No, absolutely not. Um. Because it's too quick. Here's the reason... Here's the reason that... Um, Lord of the Rings is so good. It works so well. Is... And also the reason they're so fucking long. Is that... They don't rush through anything. Uh, everything is given... Like pretty long time to play out and if it did if it didn't if it if they couldn't afford it that time it was cut or it was like i mean this is why lord of the rings is so the movies are so fucking good uh because there are characters who you're like oh i wish glorfindel or tom bombadil like why aren't they in the movie and it's like it probably would have made a worse movie because that's another in a full thing of a hundred characters, like thousands of characters or whatever. Um, they're, they're perfect for like understand the Lord of the Rings is so good at understanding, like make a scene as long as it needs to be, but then like kind of remixing stuff around it or cutting stuff around it in order to then make it work. Whereas I feel like Dune 
really wanted everything in the movie and they compressed it all in order to fit it. But then they also cut a bunch of stuff, like the Aaliyah stuff and uh, like Paul had a, as a son in the, I don't know, if, you know. Um, well, the Hobbit movie, come on. I mean, those were written in like a day and a half while they were shooting. We can't, that's not a fair comparison to anything or any franchise, <laughs> I don't think. Uh, that's just, I mean, my personal opinion is that Dune, the Dune movies, especially Dune 2, are way too, like, dense. And honestly, like, dude, if you got to make a four-hour movie, but, like, let it fucking breathe, make the four-hour movie, you know? I I don't know. I mean, that's not entirely his choice, I'm sure, but, yeah. I don't know. I just felt like it was very, very rushed. Well, yeah, I, I, that's what I'm, that's what I'm, I'm, ag I agree with you, Pazuzu. I don't know that this, the studio would have let him do that. I don't think the pacing is necessarily bad. That's not, that's not the same as what I mean with dense. Like, I think you can have a quick movie, but like that final battle scene, there's like really no lead up to it. It just happens kind of. And then it's over so fast. Uh, do I want a happy Dune with the... Oh. <laughs> and I think just a lot of characters. But also there was stuff I really liked. Uh, Javier Bardem is great. You know, it looks awesome. Um, yeah. Rybert, I also agree with you. I think it's an impossible task. It's a completely impossible task. I thought Austin Butler was cool, but again, that was like a character that if you haven't read... If you haven't... Read the book, was you... Did you know any... Do you... Like, it's just a guy. It's just a weird guy who kills people. And that's it. I mean, I know they, like, threw in some Benny Gesserit stuff where they were, like, they kind of explained his deal, but. He's exactly the anti-Paul. Wait, is Thufir even in the second one? He is in two scenes? I don't remember him at all. Oh, they're cut. Oh, okay, gotcha. I enjoyed uh, watching it. I'll say that. So it's a movie that, like, I think, yeah, the further I get from it, the more I'm like, ah, this is, this was, you know. But I really liked watching it. And I still think it's a pretty amazing accomplishment to, to make that into a movie at all. Uh, and it looks, it looks so good. Chani definitely got a little more love in the movies, for sure. Much more of a character. I agree with that. Fully. Yeah, I am curious if they'll... What they'll do with Chani if they make the next ones.
The Bene Gesserit Show. When does that come out? I probably won't have HBO Max anymore. That's the problem. Because I won't have a job where I work for the company that it's HBO. I'll probably actually, I might still, I might still pay for HBO. We'll see. Do I think we will ever get an adaptation of God Emperor of Dune? I think if you live long enough, they are going to adapt everything. Carver the Druid, thanks for subbing. Um, I think, didn't didn't he say if he makes Dune Messiah, he's going to wait? Like he's going to do other stuff in between. He doesn't want to go straight to it. Because on, I mean, yeah. I would, I'd like to just have that guy making his own shit, right? Like, so Dune Messiah takes place, like, 12 years later, which, I mean, it doesn't matter. You can say, oh, it actually is 20 years later, whatever you want, but. Um. Sophie, I was just taught or Sophie, I don't, I don't know. I was just saying that. I, I was very I was very bummed that Aaliyah did not do that in the movie. Like, I get that you're afraid of making it look corny, but you gotta do it. You have to just do it. You gotta be confident in your own abilities as a filmmaker to make that cool and interesting. I'm sorry, you just have to, that's, you have to do it. That, that's the way it is. I do wonder, because, like, they didn't do the time jump, right? In the book, in Dune, the book, they jump forward two years. Like, where the first movie ends and where the second movie starts, there's, like, two years in between those moments, basically. And that's why, like, so it's like all of a sudden, Paul has a sister and a kid. Um, and all this stuff. But they could have just done that. Why not? Come on. I want to see the little kid kill the Baron. <laughs> Whatever, like, I don't know. It's another thing, too, where maybe I just like, um, you know, I just like the book too much and know too much about it that it's not always a good thing when you're trying to watch an adaptation of something to know too much about the source material or whatever. Sometimes it's better to, like, go in, you know, clean. Is Jameis more of a character in the book? I mean, everyone is. Everyone is more of a character in the book because it's a book, right? I think I already, didn't I already? Oh, sorry. I thought I updated the the quest for Camelot thing, but I guess I never hit done. Instead, I'm just, I've been talking about Doom for like an hour. Played that game for what? Yeah, Jameis still serves the same essential purpose. Was there a funhouse crowd that wanted me to tone it down? Is this that was too much? I did see someone once someone once in the uh, in a comment for a video said they were starting to think I actually hated women. In a funhouse video. <laughs> Jesus Christ. It was the it was the Barbie RPG. It's like, look, I go hard in that video, but there were discussions were had beforehand with like be a fucking asshole. Um But yeah, I was still just like, whoa. <laughs> okay. Okay. Yeah, people were really pissed off about it. Uh not a lot of people, but there were some people who were not not happy with that video 
with me in that video. Um, but it was like, you know, we had conversations beforehand. It wasn't, it's not like I just came in and was an asshole to my coworkers. Like, we, we know what, <laughs> we know what we're doing. Yeah. Nineteen ninety two Dune game. Is that the is not like the first? Uh, Real time RTS game. My favorite Dune book. I mean, either the first one or God Emperor. I think those are the best. Children of Dune is really good, I think, too. Um, but God Emperor is like so fucking weird and out there it feels like like a totally almost a totally different thing and it and it also like the whole world of dune is um i mean it's laid out well you have enough info in the first one to get all this cool shit um but i like like god emperor has just the lore is crazy the lore and even like messiah and Children of Dune is awesome. So, like, it introduces the Tleilaxu and the Oxalotl tanks. That's right. You thought it was all based on, like, Arab, uh, like, Middle Eastern languages? They got South American languages, too. They got Nahuatl words in there as well in the Dune universe. Okay? Uh, who else? The Ixians? They pop up. It's just cool. There's just a lot more like weird world building and stuff. I think you're right, Bob. Blah, blah. blah. Vlad the Imbiber, I don't, I think you're confusing a couple things there. Oh, I mean, the Villa New version is 100% the closest to the source material. A thousand percent. The Jodorowsky one, I mean, he, in the movie, he's like, I was, he says, like, it had nothing, to, very little to do with the source material. It'd be cool to, you know, like, I, I, I would have loved to see that movie. I love El Topo. But, I don't know. That's one of those things, too, where, like, that movie might have sucked shit, you know? But it has a really cool legacy of, like, great art and stuff around it, but... Who knows if it actually would have... I forgot Pink Floyd was going to do the soundtrack. Damn, maybe it would have been good. I think it would have been interesting no matter what. You know what I think would have happened if the Jodorowsky Dune actually like went into production? I think it would have exploded in budget almost immediately and still been canceled and not made. <laughs> or like made really bad because it lost like they ran out of budget on the first like in the first week so they released it as like some weird art short art film with like footage from i don't know like car crashes or something joel schumacher dune there we go now we're talking i just watched lost boys not that long ago that's joel schumacher right lost boys Judd Apatow, dude. <laughs> A 
Holy Mountain, I've never been able... I've never actually finished it. I've watched most of it. I've watched a lot of it, but... I don't think I've ever quite finished it. I mean, Mel, Br Mel Brooks did produce Elephant Man, which I think is what got David Lynch D Dune. So, you're actually not as far off as you think. Maybe. I have heard Santa Sangre, Santa Sangre is really good. I've never seen it. Yeah, I saw Mandy. I didn't see that guy's other movie, though, The Black Rainbow or whatever. I never saw that. I heard it was pretty good, but I never saw it. Is it good? Why has my bitrate been terrible all night? I feel like I'm doing fine. Oh, God, Adam McKay's Dune. Lots of uh, format changes in the middle of it. Captain of Curiosity so I might need to go back to and just watch because like I didn't really dig it that much I kind of thought they were all sort of there There was a few that I liked but it's been it's been too long I don't remember any of them now anyway <laughs> the viewing with Eric Andre I mean it sounds familiar but Antistarector. That was my favorite part. Guillermo's little intros. Antistarector. And he's got the little, like, carving of the director. Who was the, uh... She did, she did one of them. She did A Cabinet of Curiosities. But she made that movie, uh... The Girl Walks Home Alone at Night. Did you ever see that? That vampire movie? It's pretty cool. Saw it at a very small theater in Chicago, I believe. Where I also saw Southbound, which is a cool horror anthology movie that I also recommend. Uh, but she did another movie. Her next movie, I did not care for. Not at all. It was a um, like post-apocalyptic thing that just kind of like I don't think it, I just don't think it really did it for me. But I think she did a. Um, yeah, the Bad Batch? That sounds right. Um, she she had a segment in uh, the Endis Director show. Which theater in Chicago? It would have been... Fuck. I mean, also, like, is it there anymore? I don't know. It was... I believe downtown. Mm. Let me see. <sighs> Not the music box. I mean, the music box rules. If you live in Chicago, you should be going to the music box. It may have been the Siskel Film Center. Yeah, I saw a bunch of movies at the uh, Music Box. I think I saw Never Ending Story. I saw uh, Rocky Horror. Went to one of the like live, whatever, live Rocky Horrors. Um... I'm like 90% 90, 90 sure it's the Cisco Film Center. Yeah, because I think it's part of the Art Institute. Yeah, I'm okay. I'm pretty sure that's what it is. Are there still any good like theaters in Minnesota? Is like the river, what is the river? There's like the Riverside Theater or something like that. That would do like Lord of the Rings screenings. 
it River? River? River View. River View. Is that still there? Is the River View still there? Oh, good. It's still there. Okay. Thank God. Juniper Bush, hello to you. Because the Uptown ones are kind of gone, right? The... I mean, is, are either of the... Oh my god, the Trilon. I think that started when I... That opened when I, like, lived there. I don't even know if I ever went there. Let me take a look. Because that... I think that opened when I... Yeah, I'm pretty sure I've never actually been to the Trilon. Maybe next time I'm in town. Ugh. I think last I heard Uptown Theater closed, but was like, yeah, kind of in the process of reopening, but as like something else, maybe, I don't know. Talking about movie theaters in Minneapolis. <laughs> Any great theaters in Western North Dakota? Dead, not that I'm aware of. Where are you, Medora Dickinson? How close are you to the the uh, Montana border? Jamestown? That's Eastern North Dakota. You fuck with that big ass buffalo? That buffalo rules, by the way. That Jamestown buffalo. Boy, will you live in western North Dakota now? Yo, okay, so is the albino buffalo, so it was snow, snow flake? Snowball? Because here's what I've heard, because when I lived there, and not when I, I didn't live in North Dakota, well, I did live in North Dakota, but not, never mind. When we used to drive, they cloned her. Is that what it is now? Because it was the real one when I would go as a kid. And it was like... I think it was like a legit albino buffalo. And I've heard that like... They've had to... Yeah, like it's not legit anymore. It's a new type of buffalo. Um, yeah, it was the only one in the world. It was like... a. A sacred thing or something I don't know but like it was a, a big deal and we'd go they paint it <laughs> holy shit <laughs> that's crazy come on come on that's crazy oh you're making it up okay Let's see, hang on a second. Jamestown White Buffalo. Legendary Albino Buffalo. White Cloud. White Cloud. Oh wait, this might be current. Oh, the original one, 1990, was born in 96. Uh, which is when I would have, so this is White Cloud is the, the buffalo I would I have seen. Um, okay, so they, they do have some albino, other albino buffaloes there, bisons. They're not buffalo, they're bison. Buffalo's an animal in Africa, okay? Um, okay, so White Cloud did pass on in 2016 from old age. Wait, really? That's how long? They only live like... 20 years? Really? <sighs> I fucking love bison, by the way. Okay? I will say, I think it's the least visited national park in the US, but 
If you ever find yourself near Theodore Roosevelt National Park in North Dakota, maybe you're at the Medora Musical. Check it out. It's fucking gorgeous. Wild horses everywhere. Bison just running around. It's awesome. Never found the hat. Never found the hat. But it's like a really cool national park, but I don't think anyone goes there because... Yeah, I worked at the Medora Musical. By the way, for anyone who knows what that means, I worked there for a season. Okay? Um, I lived there. I lived in the old horse barn. Come up to Canada. Got some good national parks up there. I just sneak in through the Boundary Waters. Easy. I mean, look, I got I got nowhere to be now. Yeah, so, okay, so I'm not going to explain. Yes, shouts out to, always shouts out to Ely, of course. I don't, I don't need to explain the entirety of this musical, but basically it's this big tour. It's the biggest tourist attraction in North Dakota, but it only applies. Uh, the only people who know what it is are from North Dakota and South Dakota. And maybe like kind of if you know someone, right? It's this whole musical that's outdoors in this giant amphitheater and they pay you seven dollars an hour and charge you to live there and charge you for meals even though you can't physically like they it's a town of like a hundred people so they have no yeah they charge you rent to live in literally a horse stable that they have converted into like a men's dorm um i mean i had a really fun time I'm not saying that. And I knew what I was getting into. But it is extremely exploitative. <laughs> um, the appeal is you just get drunk and have smoke weed or whatever. You just It's like a fun, stupid job to have when you're like super young. I was like 21. Or, yeah, no, 20? I was 20 maybe. Um, I worked in a call center and I would work a lot of the times I would work like not the overnight, but the like late later night shift. So, and everyone who goes to this thing is like 85. So I, I would take like one call and then just read. It was pretty cool. Um, but yeah, they put on this musical and they do it like every night. It's a huge tourist attraction for North Dakotans. And that's it. I mean, that's, that's all it is, but they have like hotels and everything's overpriced. Um, but honestly, like, look, I've said it before, but if you, if you're young and you're like not in college, you're not like pursuing a trade, you don't really know what you're going to do with yourself. Go work at like Vail or some like, you know, like a ski town or some like something that has like lodging, right? It's really, it's, it's very fun. It's extremely fun. Uh, a lot of shenanigans and yeah I think western I think yeah because of the oil fields maybe right or meth I mean here's the thing there was nothing out there it's like Medora and then nothing else Dickinson is like 20 minutes away or something but like or 30 minutes away um But yeah, I know the, the oil fields and stuff are, I don't know. It, it's shocking how empty North Dakota is. And it's weird because I lived in Montana too, and that gets, that can be empty, but Montana is like the most beautiful place. One of the most beautiful places on earth. It's inc it's fucking incredible. Um, and we should all probably be living there. But in North Dakota, there's nothing. It's empty. It is flat and empty. Holy shit. Ooh. Oh my, my, I mean, yeah. I used to go to Bismarck a couple times a year as a kid. I mean, you can get cheap land. 
It's also like, I think it's one of the only states where like most people are over 50 or something. <laughs> or something. Landmarks to hit in Montana. I don't know. I mean, I just, I lived in Helena. I didn't even like do any tourist stuff. Never went to any national parks. Um, I used to go to the Bismarck Zoo all the time too. Uh, I didn't even do any tourist stuff there. So, you know, I can't really, I don't know. I just lived there and it was, it's so fucking gorgeous. Western, I should say Western Montana. Eastern Montana is kind of just North Dakota, but with more meth. Uh, anyway, lived where as a kid, I imagine. Uh, I live in North Dakota, Montana in my 20s. Not, yeah, not as, not as a kid. Can backshots be a bar? Backshots is a bar for anyone, for everyone. I guess we should get out of here. Time's up. Getting sleepy. It's almost nine. Ooh. I got stuff to do. You did a logo for Backshots? I didn't see that. Where was that? Is that in Discord? I haven't checked the Discord in a while. Bottom left is a, a live feed of Duluth, Minnesota. <laughs> Oh, I will do a treasure. I'll do a treasure mountain stream for sure. Um, next time I'm not streaming with Charlotte, probably. It's in fan art of the elite. I will. I will look at this. I will look at this. Um, I do check the Discord, believe it or not, occasionally. Um, but yeah. Hang on, sorry, I just want to see the... <laughs> got a couple... Got a couple <laughs> back shots. God damn. <laughs> Everyone was popping off back shots, fan. Oh, Jesus Christ, Juniper. Fuck's sake. <laughs> I like it, it's minimalist. My God. I'm looking at all these other ones that people like put, you know, excuse me, but effort into. And I get to this nightmare dripping down. <laughs> Wait. <laughs> this one from, uh, I think it what is it Lexi Lucy. Yeah, Lexi Lucy on Discord. I don't know. I don't know if they're here, if they have the same, um, same username in Twitch, but holy shit, that is very good with the fucked up deer mascot. I love that. Cool. All right. Well, uh, oh, big announcement. I did start watching the first, uh, Gundam movie. I'm not going to go through the show. I will not be bothered to do that. But I did decide I would make an exception I've been, because I like building Gundams and I like my friend Jacob. So I said, you know what? I will try. I will I will try this. Uh, because my policy on animation is it, I decide, right? I make the fucking rules, not you. Um, so I will watch what I wish to watch when I wish to watch it. And uh, that is uh, currently what I'm watching. I finished Enterprise a long time ago. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. I watched Enterprise, and then f after that, watched TNG again. And now I'm in, like, season three of Discovery. Doraemon Gundam build? What is this? Uh, I would love to. I would love to do a Gundam Mecha Mondays with Jacob. Let's, uh... I don't want to start a Witch I want to watch these old ones. They're cool. We can't talk about it. We can't... Yes, we can talk about Enterprise, but, uh... Um, not today. I did not watch Picard. I did not get into Star Trek through Red Letter Media. No, um, I've been I've been watching Star Trek since high school. Um, 
And yes, I agree, DS9, best Star Trek. Uh, I, I, I'm, it's too late. I'm already in Discovery. I agree. I don't, I don't care for it, but it's just like, it's whatever. Fine. I'm going to watch it. It's fine. I read new chapters of Berserk, some of them. It's weird. It's fine. You heard there were big booty Latino. Yeah, you are. Yeah, you're in the right place. Um, I heard it got good when they went to the future. I heard that was the good season of Discovery was the future yeah. same with strange new worlds it's like yeah there's stuff i don't like about strange new worlds okay okay however it's at least star trek and it's at least star trek where they're going to where for the most part they're going to planets and encountering things uh yeah I, oh, I hated the musical episode. Fucking, I hated the musical episode. There's other stuff I, you know, kind of don't like about that show, but yeah, whatever. Um, Discovery's the only Star Trek you've ever seen. I mean, that's kind of crazy, but that's fine. I mean, I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna, I'm not mad. I'm not gonna get mad at you about that. Uh, you should watch TNG, though. <laughs> you met Brent Spiner. That's, the, I hope he was uh, lovely to you. Oh my god. We gotta get out of here. Um, yeah, start with TNG. Go back to TNG. I think there's... Here's what you do. God damn it, you got me into fucking Trek. Look up the best original series episodes. Watch those. Okay? Then, watch TNG. You can also watch... The, next gen the original series movies are fucking awesome, but you should watch like some of the best episodes of the show first i think then tng but also if you don't want to go if you don't want to watch 60s tv i think it's fine to just start with tng i think that's totally fine okay and also yeah if you do watch tng maybe just start at season three i think that's also forgivable um well the original series movies fucking rule they're the best movies come on you know what i'm gonna give i i think one and three are also okay but yes, two and four come in. Uh, and Enterprise uh, gets kind of okay at the end. Not great, but kind of okay. And uh, Voyager has three good seasons as well. The only place to watch Star Trek is Paramount+. Plus. Come on, Tonka Bean, you know that. Oh my god, yeah. See, I got stuck. You got me. You got me. But also, hey, if you really liked, if you genuinely really liked Discovery, just watch Strange New Worlds because that's all the people who were on Discovery, so why not? Okay, we're out of here. Yeah. <laughs> Hang on. Is anyone else streaming? We're going to raid Legendary Albino Buffalo White Cloud. No one say anything about Star Trek. I don't want to get sucked back in again. Oh, no one else is... It's We're going to raid Andy Cortez. That's the only person who's even streaming right now. Quark is the best character in all of Star Trek. I don't think I would say that. Okay. How the fuck do I raid again? God damn it. Alright. We are starting the raid. Go say hello to Andy. Tell him I am desperately in need of remote employment. But kind of funny. Uh, starting effective... Immediately as contract, but in two months, it, in about two months' time, I'll need to be moved to uh, full time, and I will do anything. Make sure that's very clear. I will do anything. All right, all right. See everybody.